Here we are on Har Grizim, also known as Har Bracha, because we are surrounded by the opportunities to make bracha, and we are surrounded by so many incredible Rabbanim and leaders who can help us with this concept of giving a blessing, of making a bracha. Tu B'Shvat, which we're about to celebrate, represents a new beginning. Rosh Hashanah Lilanos, and so we hope that the bracha of Har Bracha should begin now in these extremely difficult times both in Israel and in the United States. You know, Chazal say that even though every place around is dark and cold in the winter, but as the sap begins to flow, below what we can see, things are moving and new opportunities are being created and that's what we celebrate in Tu B'Shvat. We just had the opportunity to take Trumas and Maestras off of the wine of the grapes that are produced here. And unfortunately, the Trumas Maestras had to be poured out because we're not able to consume it today in the time of Tuma. But be Ezra Hashem, the next time we all come here, we'll be able to give the wine to the Kohanim and have them drink it betara, um, and to fully fulfill the Mitzvah's uh, Hatulah's Baris. Amen. 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 I think that when standing on Hal Bracha and hearing from the owner of the winery near that this year he had 30% more grapes because of keeping Shemitah, and obviously we think because moving over to the OU and because of all the incredible brachot that Klai Yisrael gets on Har Bracha, we should continue seeing the land of Israel give more and more fruit, and Klai Yisrael see more and more blessings. The same way Klai Yisrael was standing down here, looking at Har Grizim and Har Eval, and acknowledging what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. Let's do what we should do. Let's get the bracha from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and see the Geulah Shlema Be'ezrat Hashem very soon. Amen. Amen.